Thanks for following along on our adventures. If you'd like to plan a magic vacation of your own, please subscribe to our channel and reach out to us on Facebook at Paul and Ashley Magic Vacation Planners. Good morning, everyone. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock here at Beaches, Turks and Caicos on Sunday morning. Um, we've been up and at it since bright and early. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Axon woke us up at 5 a.m. Um, we did get him to go back to sleep, but yesterday when I went to sign up for the glass bottom boat and snorkeling tour, which again are complimentary when you stay at beaches, um, they said to line up by 7 a.m. for to get on the list for the next day. So it's Sunday. I was in line at 6.40ish this morning. Um, when I got there, it was only me and one other gentleman, and then shortly after, another woman showed up. Um, probably didn't need to line up that early. I would say probably 10 minutes before seven was a good time to get down there. Um, but I was able to sign us up for a 9 a.m. glass bottom boat tour for tomorrow morning and a 1.30 p.m. snorkel tour um, for tomorrow afternoon. Hi, right, so we got a fun filled day we're gonna go grab some breakfast at sky sky and um, so again sky has camden's um order already in their system for what i ordered for his allergy friendly food um yesterday so when we get there it'll all be ready for him um so yeah breakfast hang out at the beach for a little bit and then uh parasailing, parasailing. so another fun filled day we can't wait to show you guys what beaches has to offer all right guys we are leaving the veranda house and heading up to sky for breakfast that is above the bayside where we had lunch yesterday uh just trying to figure out how we're going to get up there with a stroller hopefully there's an elevator we will find out and let you know no elevator womp 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 gotta take the stairs leaving the stroller behind and uh, taking what seems like 50, 50 yeah, steps. Back I know, this doesn't seem right. Yeah. I'm too tired to be walking yeah, stairs. Yeah, right. Oh, this is what you get for following Ashley. No, we call it Nolan. Let's pack up the stroller and move it to the front. What are these buildings, Ashley? But like, what kind of units? Like two, three, four, five bedrooms. Oh wow! They also like, include a butler. They look like it's like a house. I like the ones with the pools. Yeah, those are like the oceanfront ones, right? It'd be nice if we could take a tour of one. I feel like they're not all booked. All right, let's head on up. All right, and then uh, right at the entrance of Bayside where we ate yesterday is the entrance to Sky. More stairs, but these are the correct stairs. Pax, are you excited? What are you gonna have for breakfast today? Oh, there's a line. Nice. What is this, the water park? What the heck's going on over here? What's going on with this line? You're too heavy to... You're waving hi. <laughs> Say hello. My name is Paxton. <laughs> Alright, go. You're gonna wave? Wave. <laughs> oh, now you're just making it awkward. Hey guys, we are at the top of Bayside, which is Sky. This is uh, a restaurant that is included. Uh, it is a sit-down breakfast, and uh, it is really hot already. So we're actually going to uh, go back downstairs, which is, which is just the standard buffet. But um, yeah, and it's a good view. Beautiful. You got the uh, beach right there and the pool right below it. So, um, but it's just too hot. If you, if you don't have a good angle on the umbrella um, you're going to be sweating
back down to Bayside. Um, we got shade, we got ceiling fans. Um, it was a good idea in theory, uh, but eating on a rooftop terrace in 85 degree weather, not my idea of fun. The, again, the umbrellas were positioned to where like everyone was in the shade. Um, kids were already miserable, we hadn't even ordered food yet, so um, just hanging out with my main man Paxton. Paxton, say hi. Paxton, say hi. Paxton says hi. Uh, Ashley and the kids are making their plates at the buffet. I'm gonna give you a quick tour uh, as soon as they come back and my um, daddy duties of watching Paxton are over. Uh, quick point out, um, same view. Again, we're right below sky, so you have a, a view of the, the beach. And uh, yeah, this is where we had lunch yesterday, but it can't beat the view. Okay guys, here is a view of the breakfast buffet. I uh, got some cantaloupe, watermelon, pineapple, oranges, kiwi, and uh, some cold cuts, some cheeses, um, cream cheese. And we have pastries over here where the dessert station was. Uh, Danish cinnamon, raisin roll, croissants, uh, regular Danish. We do have English muffins, bagels, bread here, more croissants, and um, more dangerous. Let's head over to this side. And um, here we have uh, smoked salmon station. So you got salmon there, capers, tomato, onions, lemons. I thought I was standing, would love that. Uh, yogurt. Toaster here for your bread. And then uh, heading to the pump station here. We have French toast. We have buttermilk pancakes. Uh, home fries, potatoes with peppers. Mashed potatoes, it looks like, for grits. Uh, Scrambled eggs, sausage, and bacon. So we will take a quick break. Uh, since there's a baby screaming, so uh, that's the food options here. We'll check back in with you in a few. Uh, all right, guys. Um, just got some English muffins, uh, sausage, bacon, home fries, and a stick of butter with a side of French toast. Uh, also for the iced coffee since it's 90 degrees. And I have to grab the mimosa. Uh, sorry for the drums in the background. Uh, this boy is just learning how to use his arms and hands, so uh, he's entertaining the restaurant. So. Um, yeah. Not really a, a breakfast guy. I don't really, I'm not really a big eater for breakfast, so kind of just want to put something in my stomach because I don't know when we'll have lunch, so. Um, Something like, you know, bread, you know, the French toast and the uh, English muffin. Put some carbs in my stomach so we can uh, get drinking. Guys, I know we talked about the houses before. Look at this one. You got two stories. You got like a um, little covered porch area. Uh, but you have your own pool. And then you have your own gazebo with like a day bed over there. Like how insane is that? is so cool these th these things have like four and five bedroom uh units um gonna see if i can take a peek at one of them because that's just incredible i actually said they're like twenty five thousand dollars to rent for like seven nights seven days so um look at this you got your own entrance right there and then right across is the beach so cool so I just took Paxton up to the room real quick to change his diaper and give him some uh, infant's Tylenol. Uh, he's been uh, like gnawing in his mouth, like crazy chewing on things. I definitely think his teeth uh, 
uh, bugging him. So gave him some Tylenol. He's like way past due for a nap. He woke up at five o'clock and then didn't fall back asleep till 6.30. And then only slept for like 20 minutes. And it's 9.30 now, so. He's usually uh, sleeping by now, so. But Ashley took the kids to the beach, told me where they were gonna be. I went to that spot and they're not there. This is where we had dinner last night. Be a foot by the sea. Uh, Paxton should be falling asleep soon. Ashley has an, uh, a uh, parasailing scheduled for 10 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna head that way just in case maybe she went to go check in a little early. I don't know. I don't know where my wife is. Let's see if we can find her. And if not, let's show you guys the resort. Came to the parasailing tent and they're not here. And then the water sports area here, uh, they're not here either. So. Let's go look at the Italian pool and then maybe the Key West pool. Let's see if we can find them. Okay, we are at the Italian village pool and still no Ashley. Where's my wife? We found them. Uh, she finally replied back to my Facebook message and said that Cam had to use the bathroom, so she took him to the bathroom, so uh, going over there hanging out, and I can't go down there because Paxton fell asleep, so um, I think I see no one in that yellow ring out there in the distance, and uh, yeah, just gonna hang out for a second. She just saw me. I'm hoping she comes over here to give me an update. We're gonna be going parcel in like 30 minutes and I'm gonna need to stay behind. Uh, Camden's gonna need to stay behind with me, so we're gonna need to figure that out. Especially with a baby sleeping in a stroller. Um, can't really go down, up and down the stairs with a stroller and a baby inside, so. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, I am laid up by the Key West Village pool uh, while Paxton naps. We have to go to the parasailing um, check-in tent in about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, Ashley just informed me that we're all going on the boat together, which I didn't know. So, Five of us will go on the boat while Ashley and Nolan parasail. Not sure if they'll let us take the GoPro up or not, but we will soon find out. Uh, but for now, just gonna rest my feet and enjoy the uh, pool. And then just for a point of reference, um, that is Bayside, uh, where we had lunch yesterday and breakfast today. And then right above it is Sky. Um, the rooftop restaurant that was just too hot to eat at. Uh, I would guess it probably 85, 90 degrees today. But, um, just trying to pace myself because I've been awake since 5 o'clock this morning. Thank you very much, Paxton. So, going to rest a little bit before we uh, meet up with Ashley. All right, we're taking off. What do you say, Knowles? Uh, Ashley wanted me to go. Uh, she said <laughs> since I missed out on Disney Wish and Castaway uh, Key, uh, she wanted me to do something fun I with Nolan. So, um, oh no, I hope we don't dunk. So we're just taking off, and we're gonna head on up now. Guys, how is this for a view? Look at this. Got the whole resort. Actually shows you how massive it really is when you're looking at it from out here. Nolan, you having fun? Yeah. This was a bucket list item for Nolan. He's been trying to do it the last few trips. Uh, two weeks ago in on the Wish, uh, it got canceled at uh, Castaway. Uh, we did the Dream. It got canceled because of the wind again. Um, so he's been dying to do this for a long time so I'm happy to uh, to be here with him and uh, 
to do it and uh, experience this moment together. We are high. I mean, this is crazy. Look how high up we are, Noel. I, like I feel like I'm on the ride soaring. I know. I feel like I'm on soaring from Disney, too. But we're actually there. I know, but this is the real thing. Can you smell the coconuts? Yeah. <laughs> Me, too. Guys, look at this coral reef that we're flying over. This is just so beautiful. Is this the border of it? The end of the clearness. It's probably really loud from the wind, and I apologize, but I uh, just want to try to record as much as we can uh, of this beautiful experience. Really, really high up, huh, Nolan? Yeah. You having fun? Mm -hmm. All right. That's all that matters. We finished up uh, parasailing. Uh, kids wanted to do the flow rider uh, surf, but they're having technical difficulties and it is not open just yet. So they are doing the blue slide and the yellow slide. Uh, pizza place opens up in about 10 minutes. It's uh, 10.50 right now. And the pizza place is allergy safe for Camden. So we will be uh, waiting until then to grab a pizza to go back to the pool uh, at the Key West Village and uh, let Paxton do some swimming before it's time for his second nap. His first nap, he was only able to sleep for about 30 minutes because we had to wake him up to bring him on the boat to go parasailing. So usually only naps to 30 minutes in his first nap, but his second nap is usually like a two to three hour nap. So. Um, gotta get them fed lunch and then uh, comfortable. Maybe I'll take them to the room and uh, let them sleep in the air conditioning uh, in a bed as opposed to a stroller in 95 degree heat. Uh, and let Ashley and the boys hang out at the beach. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, so, we'll see. Oh, I'm still recording. All right, so we are in the water park area. These are the two slides that are currently open and they have the flow ladder back behind that. Um, we're just about ready to have some lunch here at Bobby D's, which is one of the safe locations for Camden to eat. Um, it's a quick lunch spot and this is our second time dining here, so. Yesterday we just kind of got them fries and nuggets and they loved it. They ate everything. So we're back again today while they ride the slides. We sit out here in the shade and wait for our lunch. But this is Bobby D's. It's kind of like a 1950s diner in here. So they have a children's area right off to the right when you come in. And the whole thing is shaped like a pirate shipwreck. So high chairs, booster seats, kid-sized tables, some Nickelodeon up on the screen. And then in here, they have the ice cream bar. So tons of different ice cream flavors, banana split, sundaes, milkshakes, um, have cotton candy in here sometimes in the afternoon. And they also have popcorn over there in the corner. But this is the spot over here where we ordered lunch. So 
so I'll give you a peek at their menu. We have a burger bar up top, and then they have some classic favorites, and then the kids' menu. Paul and I are going to try the steak and cheese for lunch. Kids are going with nuggets, grilled cheese sandwich, and a hot dog. And then over here in the corner, kind of like a pizza bar as well as just some desserts that they have out right now, which they just have cookies. And then seltzer, soft ice cream. And then over there in the corner is just a fountain, fountain soda seltzer. So again, all-inclusive resort. So everything is included. Your kids can come and go as they please. Grab whatever they want, not eat it grab something else if they prefer to. Um, and then if you kind of go out this door over here. Oh. This is kind of like the whole kids section. So they have the kids club in the corner, that way, straight ahead. And then over there they have the teen section. And over here they have the Xbox play lounge. So they just have tons of consoles in here. It's quiet now, but um, if you've got a gamer, this is where you'll find them. We told our boys no video games on vacation, so we won't be spending any time in there. But if you've got a gamer, they're looking for somewhere to play, that's where they can go. So this is the back side of Bobby D's, again, like that big pirate ship. And then in there is the kids club. It's kind of like an open air kids club. Games, um, foosball, pool, air hockey, tons of board games all kinds of activities. And then in this spot over here is the teen club. And then it kind of just brings you back into a circle to the two slides that are currently open. And on the other side of Bobby D's is a super cute kids swim up bar, which I'll show you guys in a bit. Hey, no. Where are you? Oh, look, our lunch is here. All right, we just finished lunch at Bobby D's and the Flow Rider has officially reopened. Uh, they're having some technical difficulties earlier today. The uh, stairs, um, like the liner at the stairs, was kind of like pulled up. So they had to fix that. So typically open first thing in the morning. Um, and it just reopened now and it's 11.45. So yesterday there was a line of about eight kids here and today they're able to just walk right up. So I don't know, maybe dad will get a shot. Uh, we'll try doing it as well. We'll see. Uh, she's hanging out here in the shade with uh, this little baby bear. He's like a little bear, isn't he? He really is. He's just yelling at us and like roaring. He's like, ah! I haven't even had a drink yet, in case you're wondering. All right, Ashley, you having fun? Ashley wants to go to the beach, huh? Yes. Yes, okay. Camden's getting his first tattoo. What do you think, Mom? You want glitter or no glitter? No, no glitter, right? Glitter. Glitter purple. Oh, wow. Glitter purple. Didn't know it was that kind of party. <laughs> Who'd you get again? The basketball guy? 
No one can move your big head out of the way, I'm not kidding. China. How is it, Kim? Does it hurt? That's some serious <laughs> ink. It's a statement piece. Camden. 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 That's going to stay on your arm for a week. No, it's not. No, it's three, three to five days in the water. Three to five days. What do you think? Looking good. Are you ready to see? Moment of truth. So sick. Let me see it. That actually looks cool in purple. Way to go. Let's get a close up. That looks nice and clean. That came out great. All right, guys, we are up at the room. Uh, Paxton is taking a nap in his crib. Uh, big boys are on their iPads in their day bed. Um, Ashley's at the beach. Uh, wanted to bring Paxton to the room so he could get a good nap in and the kids actually asked if they could come back to the room to lay down and rest because they were tired so um, big tip with traveling with kids if they're telling you they're tired they're probably tired so listen to them they want to relax for an hour on their iPads maybe even take a midday nap it is what it is I'll be sitting out on my balcony uh, reading my book relaxing enjoying the nice weather um, some people would see it as being stuck in the room I see it as recharging their batteries and enjoying the nice weather outside uh, with some nice quiet time and I do have a uh, planter's punch so oh, these things are so good so it won't be too boring for me I'll, I'll find some stuff to do so Gonna relax for a little bit, let the kids recharge, and then uh, we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right, we are hanging out at the pool for a little while. Let Paxton do some swimming, kids do some jumping, some splashing. Kids ordered some virgin mudslides. Cam is just hanging out at the bar. Went up and ordered it on his own. Definitely a proud dad moment. And uh, yeah. Had a little bit of a passing shower earlier, but the skies are sunny and uh, nice little slight breeze. Definitely nicer now than it was earlier. It was just too hot, but this nice little breeze uh, off the beach really helps. So, gonna enjoy this for a little while, and then uh, we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. All right. Would you like you to go ahead and put together your kids? Together. With me? Oh, my kids together. Yeah, together, right? Yeah, yeah. So can I take one person in the back and one person Okay, in the back. that's fine. All right, guys. We are back at the Flow Rider. Uh, they can do bodyboarding now. They have not stopped asking to do bodyboarding. Oh, my wife is over here. She's going to take pictures. Uh, yeah. Back to the floor right up. Goddamn kids. Can't even I haven't even gone to the beach today. They're just going crazy over the floor rider. 
I've been busting our chops all day, so Ash is walking back and forth with uh, Paxton and the stroller. He's about to pass out. Only took a one hour nap before. Ashley asked me to go to Bobby D's to get her another steak and cheese. And then I'm gonna uh, go grab a drink at the bar, so let's, uh, let's go and get some food. I know. Just walking over to the French village and we saw this Mr. Mac macaroni and cheese trout. I think the blazing buffalo chicken macaroni is delicious. The deep fried mac balls look good too. Yep, you can go get a drink. Go ahead. Let me see a popcorn. So you can kind of see the construction over here. But um, from what the staff told us is they're actually getting a brand new water park. So but the next time we come, we'll be all brand new sides. So it makes it not so bad to miss out on it tonight on this trip, actually. And then over here, they have like an inflatable obstacle course. Right next to the main stage over there. <laughs> What's your light on? So here we are entering the French village. It's pretty quiet and peaceful back here. We are about to hop in the pool because Paxton is taking a nice little afternoon snooze. So we're gonna sit back, relax, and let these boys swim. Yeah, like seaside village. Yeah, all right, guys. I don't know why I keep saying all right guys every single time I start a new clip. I need to keep talking myself out of it. This is the second Caribbean village uh, pool. Yeah, Looks like it's more of a adult pool. Ooh, hot tub. Um, beach right over here. This little setup. Oh, I got a little bridge. We can go off to the other side. The seaside villas too over here. Seaside villas, okay. Yeah, look at this. This is a nice little setup. Ashley, what do you think of this area? First impression. Oh look, let's go look at that water cave with the waterfall. What do you think? I like ours better. You like ours better? As far as like pool and or like rooms or like location like why do you like just ours like room? overall i don't know i feel like this is congested I'm over I'm here a lot more crowded I, 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 I yeah i'm on oh wow 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 nice this is a nice little setup though i like it i like this yeah one. i like these rooms over here this is i like nice. this better than the other half of the caribbean village well so this is like the seaside village portion seaside village. so if you look at these little villas over here uh -huh. like this will be the seaside village Mel's, you've always wanted a hammock why can't i have one in my room why can't you have one in your room i don't know because you don't live on an island Tell about the towel yeah we do Maybe we do, or we're going to start staying in the island. So let's go see this uh, pool with the waterfalls and the cave. And I see some tables over there. I don't know if there's like some sort of special dining. I think this is nice. It's a nice little setup. I actually pointed out that this is actually where we're going to be having dinner tonight. Um, so that'll be fun. 
we'll show you guys uh, that a little bit later. What time is it now? 5.12. What time is dinner reservations? We don't have reservations. But I thought you said we were eating here tonight. Yeah, we are going to eat here tonight. Oh, okay. I was going to say it's 5.15 and it's already getting late. Reservation. Okay. So it's a walk up. All right. Let's uh, let's go find a spot to set up shop and relax for a bit. Guys, one thing I love about this resort is all of these like random cabanas. Um, people are just having dinner. People are just hanging out in bathing suits, having drinks. Um, so nice. I don't know what's going on over here. It looks like someone's having a photo shoot. This guy's got his hand on his girlfriend's rear end. I'm not opposed to it, but everyone's dressed in black. Oh, we're going in for a kiss. Okay, a woman's wearing a crown in a satchel. Oh, this hand is right there. I'm not sure what's going on, but don't make eye contact. We are back at the House of the Dragon style sandcastle of like the whole village. Anyone watching House of the Dragon? Uh, you see the king working on like this like mock um, copy of like King's Landing. Just so cool. King's Landing, where is that in real life? Is that Croatia? Croatia? We're supposed to do that on a the cruise. Brovnik. The Brovnik, yeah. We're supposed to do that on a cruise in oh, April or May 2020. 2020, and then what happened? COVID. COVID. Oh, don't let them destroy it. Guys, you. don't touch that. Get off. It's not even God, these kids are so disrespectful. Paint the Mona Lisa, and they're going to stick their finger in it. But yeah, we we're supposed to go to uh, Croatia in 2020, and then COVID happened, and then we canceled. Uh, we are going back to Europe, though, in April of 2022. 2023. 2023, yeah, you're right, because we're in September 2022. But it 2022. doesn't include Croatia. It does trip, not. So. so it leaves out of Barcelona, goes to... Um, Naples, Naples, Rome. Rome. Um, Naples, Rome, Pisa. Yep. I know there's like, it's literally like a port every day. You have one sea day on a seven day cruise. So we're definitely missing a couple spots, but we'll let you guys know once we get uh, closer. Obviously you guys are gonna be uh, tagging along. We have a special uh, trip planned. We got some family coming with us. So it'll be special, it'll be fun. When? April 2023. Okay, we are back at the Italian village. Are we gonna go here to the pool? No. I think you nope. guys are gonna go to the beach and I'm gonna go to that pool with Cam. What the hell? I don't wanna go to the beach. Alright, then I'll go to the beach and you go to that pool with Cam. I don't wanna go to the pool. I just I feel like I've been separated from you all day. I just miss you, you too miss much. Me I can't so even much. stand <laughs> to be a, away from you. Oh. Alright guys, let's figure out the logistics of what's going on in true Camden. And Nolan fashion, one wants to go to the beach, the other wants to go to the pool. So mom and dad need to split up duties and we need to split up as a family because hashtag kids. Yeah, the, which is true. The, you got Paxton sleeping in the stroller, so you can't bring him down like five flights of stairs to uh, to the beach. So whoever goes to the pool is going to have to bring him. And then by then, he's probably going to wake up. So uh, this is nice right here. Like these these rooms right this here facing the ocean. Top. I like this. This reminds me of the surf club in Aruba. You got uh, a couple rooms facing the ocean. I mean, it's a little different, but it's just the color of the building and and everything just the layout yeah it just but reminds I really me like this side of the resort better like, yeah, I key like west the Italian village. I like the key west just personal don't preference. touch that oh I like your shower there's water inside of the coconut so and then we're back over here at key west which again these houses are just absolutely fantastic we got three four and five bedroom homes 
Go the key for the next trip. Themes. Yeah. Actually, a, a four bedroom. What are we looking at price wise? Over 20,000. Over 20. Yeah, 20 but again, it's a four yeah, bedroom, but you got like the pull out sofa. Like if you split it across three families. Oh, yeah, like, you can you, fit multiple You families. can fit like 12 people in there and you split it, you break it down per person. I mean, you're only looking at, you know, two or $3,000 per person for a seven night stay at an all-inclusive resort with free food, with free drinks. And then you have like this massive home, like. It just depends. Like this is definitely like a splurge vacation. And also similar to Disney, like they have the different villages that can kind of fit everyone's budget. So like if you're on a tighter budget and you want to look at the Caribbean village, um, but if you have like a more expensive budget, then look at Key West or Seaside Village. And one thing we mentioned, we talked about earlier today off camera was the... Um, We're going to go this way, guys. Different types of families that we've seen uh, vacation here. I mean, we've seen a ton of... Um, like you said, what was the term? Multi-generational families? Yeah, I would say majority of people that we've run into here are multi-generational. So like grandparents and then kids and their grandkids and even like brothers and sisters and their families. Um, so I'd say we're kind of the minority traveling, just the five of us as our own little lone family. Um, it's just kind of one thing that we have seen so far. Yeah, so, but yeah, I mean, like Ashley said, it's a, a budget for, uh, there's a, a different type of room and budget for everyone's budget. Um, everything kind of, you know, you can pay, you know, two or three thousand dollars a person or you can pay ten thousand dollars a person. Yeah. Um, it all varies on what your style and your taste is. Um, I'm not sure if you can even swim in there, it's like a fountain, <laughs> but my kids just do not give an F. <laughs> oh, this is what I feel like. You see, you see why I leave my kids behind when we go on vacations? Like, what is this? You're, you're, this is a fountain. You're not allowed to be swimming in a fountain and jumping into a pool. God damn it. I need a drink. I asked pa Paxton if he wanted to go in the pool for a swim with his family. Because they're over there hanging out. I asked him if he wanted to go in. What he start doing? He started pooping. What is it with kids, man? They are just never on your schedule or wavelength. Yes, that is your hand. You can control it by going like this. Just learn to say hi this month. Hello. Hello. So off to, I don't even know if the bathroom has like a changing table. Because I need to change his diaper. I, I don't feel comfortable doing it out in public. Ugh, did you just fart? This kid is so gross. So I might need to take him back to the room to uh, change his diaper. So, uh, gonna hold off on swimming and beach and pool for a few more minutes because this charred burger couldn't hold it in. All right, we got a clean diaper. I uh, finally talked the kids into coming to the beach. It's like six o'clock. I'm finally at the beach for the first time today. This vacation is just flying by, huh? It's too fast. I don't know what we were thinking. Yeah, just four I nights. I knew when I booked it, it was going to be too short, but it was the only time we could fit it in. That one looks like a little baby sea turtle. Ah! Just I know. I'm trying to find the ocean. Cam over here fighting waves. No one's on the uh, yellow no, ring no. over there. The sun's gonna he's, be setting soon. He's asking me to go with him. All right, let's get this party started. what happens when you uh, eat sand you have to take a bath in the ocean to wash out all the sand out of all your crevices and your mouth he likes it he loves it he's like this tastes just like my oatmeal you're so gross I don't even want to open his diaper and see oh my god I know 
it's a nice time of the day to come and uh, hang out on the beach. That was my favorite. Um, sun setting. I just, I hate being like, dressed up um, for sunset, you know? I'd rather just be in a bathing suit on the beach. I've always said that to Ashley. It's like one of my favorite things, whether we're in Aruba or uh, Hawaii or Lani. Um, just give me one night where we're in our bathing suits for the sunset and I'm not dressed up and on my way to dinner. I don't think that's gonna happen tonight because we technically do have to head up in a few minutes just to get these kids washed off. Um, but the fact that it's after 6 p.m. and we're still here on the beach uh, is good enough for me, so I'll take it. All right, it's 7 p.m. The kids club closes at 9 p.m. And the kids want to go to the kids club. They haven't even had dinner yet because they spent all night at the beach. So Camden and I are running over to Bayside to the buffet to see what they have that we can just grab and just shovel into their mouths before we head out. So let's make some plates and uh, take it back to the room so they can eat, so they can go to the kids club, so mom and dad can have uh, kids free dinner. So let's see. All right, it's 7.25. Kids scoffed down some chicken nuggets and french fries, and we are walking to the kids' club. Uh, hopefully it's a five-minute walk, and by then they'll have an hour and a half to uh, hang out there and play. So, mom and dad are still waiting for uh, dinner. We haven't eaten yet, so... Hopefully we drop them off. Paxton will be down for his first nap. First nap. First nap before bed. <laughs> Last nap, Last I guess. Nap. And then uh, we can actually have a nice quiet dinner. Oh, yeah. So. They've been like dying to check out this kids club. It looks pretty cool with the pool table and foosball table and ping pong and all that stuff. So. You can play soccer. You can play soccer. Can we'll show you guys what and it looks like. And their kids club is different than like any other kids club too like they take the kids around the resort for activities so we haven't signed them up because we're not here really that long and whatever time we do have we want to spend it with them during the day but like the activities that they have they'll have like water slide activities and then their whole kids club they all go to the water park and they like ride the slides together or they have like tennis and then they all go to the tennis court or they saw they had nature walk um, walking like some beach trails today they had. So they have all kinds of activities that are not necessarily like in the kids club center. So they're taking them all out and about throughout the resort to do fun things. I don't think they're gonna do it at night. No, at night um, they have you guys yes, in that kids club center, but tonight you're actually gonna be in like the teen center, they said. I mean, I'm with the teenagers. You're with the teenagers tonight. I'm All right, we'll show you guys what it looks like when we get there. All right, kids headed up to the kids club that way. And uh, here is the Shadow Lounge, uh, which is the teens club. Looks pretty cool. We've got pool tables, ping pong tables, air hockey, some couches, some TVs. Um, yeah. And then... Uh, Here's my least favorite area, um, the water park and the flow rider, which is over there. And I say least favorite, it's just because I was uh, forced to hang out here for two hours today. Uh, this is where I actually got our steak and cheese, over there. And then over this way is the other half of the kids club, if you want to call it. They have like an Xbox and uh, room there where you, kids can play Xbox and PlayStation. And, all that stuff and this here is the other half uh, with same thing pool table ping pong or hockey uh, pretty cool setup they will be moving the kids over to the xbox room um i think she said at 8 45 so 8.45 they move to the Xbox room? Yeah. And then it's open till 11? Xbox is open till 11, but Kids Club ends at 9, so... Okay. Alright, let's get to dinner.
All right, we are at Schooners. Um, we opted to come here instead of Arizona because it was actually closer to the kids' club and because the kids' club is closing up soon. We want it to be uh, quick and accessible to where we were going, so we are uh, going to hang out here. Ashley's going to get us a table. Looks like a walk-up, so hopefully they can let us bring the stroller in. There is a ton of strollers parked over here, but this little turkey is sleeping. All right, let's go inside. All right, guys, we are at Schooner's Seafood Grill. Uh, they have roots, fruits and leaves, radishes, berries, pears, mixed greens, raspberry. Yeah, that doesn't sound appetizing at all. Uh, pin seared scallops, doesn't sound bad. Steamed mussels, shrimp carpaccio, fried crab cake, that sounds good. Beet and arugula salad, seafood chowder, that sounds good. Swordfish steak. Pan seared snapper and a scotch bonnet lime broth. Oh, that sounds good too. Shrimp Alfredo, probably what Ash is gonna get. Char grilled steak, that sounds excellent too. Vegan lasagna, sesame crusted tuna, roasted cauliflower steak, and then kids' menu you got penne pasta, chicken nuggets and fries, fish and chips, and then dessert. You have flourless chocolate cake, ginger and peach tort, and a mango custard. Um, five stars, so let's get going. All right, I got the crab cake. Ashley, what'd you think of the crab cake? I thought it was really good. Ashley devoured it. Taxi got the power puff. Taxi, what'd you think of the puff? <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to dive in and uh, see how it works. Crab cake was phenomenal. Probably one of the best crab cakes I think I've ever had. Really creamy, uh, crunchy, uh, moist, all of the above. Absolutely fantastic. Um, we already got the shrimp alfredo delivered to us. Um, Accent at the poop. So we pooped and uh, Ashley went to go change his diaper. There was no changing table in the men's bathroom, otherwise that would have taken. Um, but we told them that we we're in a rush because the kids were in the kids club and it was gonna be closing at nine and service has been impeccable. It is 8.05, 8.10 and uh, we already have entrees and we've been here 15 minutes, so. Uh, schooners, five stars in my book so far. Can't wait to uh, jump into this dinner. Um, I want to apologize for the sweat beating off my forehead. Don't do very well in the heat, and uh, it is very, very hot. Again, it's eight, you know, five, eight, ten. Probably still 80 degrees. Got some ceiling fans going. Still not doing the trick. I'm really, really sweaty. Uh, and I know Ashley is too, so. Um, outdoor elements are always fun and nice when you're on vacation, but I need some air conditioning. All right, uh, shrimp Alfredo was fantastic. Came with four shrimp. Could have used maybe another one or two, but regardless, 10 out of 10. Um, Paxton was getting tired. Paxton does not sleep if he's just sitting there and, uh, uh, you know, not moving around, so we need to walk with the stroller. So, in true Alfiette fashion, I am walking with the stroller, and Ashley is having dinner by herself after feeding him his bottle and changing his diaper. Um, so, that's it. It's not always uh, rainbows and butterflies, you know, sometimes. As parents, one is feeding the other, the other one is eating, the other one is eating cold food, the other one has to go to the bathroom with the, with one of your kids and changing diapers and feeding. And it is what it is. Um, my phone's ringing, so it's probably Ashley calling me on Facebook Messenger. So I'm gonna hop off and uh, meet up with her and hopefully Paxton falls asleep. 
because uh, he is wide awake. What are you awake for, Mister? Huh? You don't want to go to sleep. Paxson has a first tooth officially. You got a tooth in there? You got a tooth in there? Try to show it to us, but he's being bashful. Ashley, what would you think of dinner? Shrimp Alfredo? I thought it was excellent. I thought that was so really good. So thank you, Clarinda, for that recommendation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I thought it was better than last night's dinner. I got the steak last night and it was just I loved my dinner last so night. So much work to like cut into the steak and yeah. everything, but yeah, like so to wrap up, you know, parenting is sometimes eating meals separate and <laughs> taking the baby for a walk and the other one's taking the baby to change the diaper and <laughs> it is what it is. Yeah, we did not have dinner together tonight. Yeah, well, we for I, sure. I told them. They know. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so let's go for a little walk before we have to pick up the kids. Uh, what do you want to point out? It is 825, so that dinner was appetizer and entree and drinks in under 30 minutes. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, if this re resort didn't have 22 restaurants, I'd probably come back here again. So Ashley forgot her purse at the restaurant uh, after we ordered drinks, had to go all the way back to the restaurant and grab her purse. Luckily they had it at the front desk and we just picked up the kids from the kids club. Nolan, come here. How was the kids club? It was amazing. At the end, did you get to play on the Xbox? Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. What did you do besides playing on the Xbox? We were doing... Just, uh, you need to talk to me. We were, we were playing freeze dance and we were playing four corners. Oh cool. And what were you playing on Xbox? Minecraft. Oh, right down there. Okay. Minecraft. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, where's the rest of our family? Friday. Friday. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel.